Okay, hi, I'm Sean Elliott and this is Nicole. She has stenosis of her metrophenoff or scarring of the tip of her metrophenoff and wears an L stent to help keep it open. So we're gonna show you today how to make an L stent out of a simple catheter so you can help keep your stoma open. So here's the L stent in place, it's taped there. She keeps it in every night and then takes it out in the morning so that she can cath again. And that helps keep things open during the day. So I'm gonna take out her L stent and show you what it looks like. Well, it looks like the shape of an L. That's why we call it an L stent. And it's made by just tying a knot in the catheter. So I'm gonna get a new catheter, just like the one that she uses, and we'll show you how to make an L stent. So there's her old L stent. I'm going to take a new catheter and we measure back about, oh, about six inches or so. And that's going to be the total length of the L stent. And we're going to choose a spot about three inches in and we're going to tie a half knot in the catheter at three inches. And you want to cinch it pretty tight. And if you make it a little too long, you can adjust it like so. And when you get it nice and tight, you'll have a good right angle like this. This is the end that's gonna go inside of the bladder, and this is the end, or inside of the metrophenoff, not the bladder. This is gonna go down the metrophenoff, and this is gonna be outside the body. Now I'm gonna cut it so that it's about three inches on both ends. And then this will slide in as the new L stent and then a piece of tape can help hold it in place, like so. So the knot will keep it from falling into her bladder, the tape will keep it from falling out of her, the fact that there's a knot here also makes a nice right angle so that the catheter sits flush with the skin so that uh, the tape can hold it down better. The length that we made here, the three inches or so, is important. You wouldn't want it to be six inches or the whole L stent would be sticking down into her bladder and she'd get more UTIs. So we want this to be inside the stoma to go across the scarring but not be so long that it goes into her bladder. She can either use a new L stent every single day by taking one of the catheters that she used during the day and cutting it up, or she can reuse one L stent for many, many nights. The risk of using an L stent and getting a UTI from it is pretty low because the stent doesn't go all the way into her bladder. And um, if, the, if the stenosis keeps being a problem, even though she's using an L stent at night, then you can start using an L stent during the day too and just take the L stent out to cath and then put it back in afterwards. So that's how you make an L stent.